Aloha mai kako. Welcome to Halal, Napua Hala, Kuno Wike Kai. We made it. This is our last Saturday hula of the month of August. If you can believe it, it's almost <sighs> moving on to September. But we have been enjoying the song Milo Li'i and enjoying all of you joining us from all around the world. Today, like every last Saturday of the month, we will review all of the verses and complete the song. And then you'll have this one to, ready to dance whenever we can have luau or gatherings again. Um, but we hope that you're doing well. Please don't forget to check in into the comments. Let us know where you're joining us from. And we can't wait to get um, going and dancing, singing, chanting uh, with all of you. So I think it is time. Aloha ho mai. Welcome back to Hula. Today is uh, kind of a, you know, uh, a routine that we always do every Saturday. We do our prayers and our chants. And of course, we always start with our anthem. So we have our high Hawaii, our Hawaiian flag. <laughs> I mean, that's his favorite part, part every week. Um, so we're going to be doing our Hawaii Pono'i, which is our anthem. We will do all three verses to honor all of the lyrics written by King David, Kalakaua, and to the melody by Henry Berger, Captain Henry Berger of the Royal Hawaiian Band. So here we go. Hawaii Pono'i Pa. Hawaii Pono'i Nanai Komo'i Kala Ni Ali'i Ke Ali'i Makua Lani'e Kamehameha'e Na Kawa'e Pale Ne Ka'ihe for joining us for that anthem. We'll go ahead and put our flag away. I just have to share a funny story. Well, it wasn't funny, actually, but it was heartwarming. Yesterday, we had Zoom classes, and I'll tell you a little bit more about that. But my intermediate keiki, which is Eames class, they were on the Zoom, and somehow my computer decided to shut down in the middle of the Zoom. And when I fell out of the Zoom, they all stayed in the room, and they did Hawaii Pono'i by themselves, and they did Oli Aloha by themselves while they were waiting for Kumu to get her act together. So I'm just so thankful to all of you 
um, Haumana and Keiki and Ohana out there um, that know what to do because we've done it every week and just keep going. Holo mua, even when Kumu is running around like a chicken without her head. So thank you for that, Keiki. It really warmed my heart. Um, like I said, right after Hawaii Pono'i, we always go into our Oli Aloha, just like the Keiki did yesterday. But before we do it on here, Facebook Live, we want to make sure we say Aloha to those of you that are joining us. So let's see who all we have today. We have Patricia joining us from Boston. Aloha no to the Bostonians. We have McCoy from Florida. Aloha. Beverly joining us all the way from Kelowna, B.C., and Maike, and she is in. Uh, oh, she lives in Suriname. Uh huh. We have Norie joining us from Jifu, Japan. Cindy Lancaster Brown from San Diego. Okay, we have some more San Diego friends. The Laird sisters. I don't know if you're on, but if you are, you got another San Diego friend. Inger joining us from Wailai Avenue, Kaimuki. Veronica Velasco Mares from Mexico. Aloha no. Barbara joining us from Kailua Kona, where the grass is green. Is that the song? Kailua Kona, where the air is clean. Something like that, I think. Uh, Yvonne also from Florida, St. Petersburg. Nada. Hi, Alexandra. Nice to see you over in Caliponi, California. And Angelica joining us from. Kelemania, Germany, and Pamela from Michigan. So you see, we have people literally around the world joining us live for Hula. And I love that you're all saying aloha to one another in the comments. This is, what, this is why we do what we do. So now that we know who we're saying aloha to, we want to offer you our aloha in the form of a chant or oli. And so we will do our oli aloha written by Kumu Pilahi Paki. Make sure that when you do this, you address the whole world. So don't just stare off into one spot. Maybe spread your aloha around a little bit. Oli aloha. Pa. Akahai na Hawaii. Lokahi akulike. Olu olu kamana o. Ha a ha ko kula na. Aho nu ya la na kila. Aloha. That's it. Mahalo. Okay. So after our oli aloha, we noho ilalo. Sit down. And we're going to move on with our prayers. So for our first prayer, we do our Hawaiian doxology. And as a special treat at the end of the month, we usually sing it in harmony. So there are two verses. Not everybody knows these verses, but if you've been coming to Hula for a long time here with us, you know that we always do both verses. First verse written by Hiram Bingham. Second verse written by Kumu Haunani Bernardino. So please join us in harmony if you like. Ho'onani pa. O onani kama kuha mau ke ke ki me ka uha ne no ke aku mau o o mai ka ipu ko ke. Just great that I get to harmonize with my son and my husband 
at least once a month. Everyone should have that honor. So that was the doxology. We move on to our next prayer, which is ekiakua, done in the kahoahua style. And that means it's call and response. So you want to call or respond? He'll be the male ho'opili, the responder, the first responder, okay? I will be the first caller outer, okay? Ekiakua, pa. Ekiakua. Mahalo no, Mahalo ya oi, Mahalo ya oi, No ke Allah, No ke Allah, for that. That prayer says, Dear Lord, thank you, thank you, thank you for this beautiful day. And it is a beautiful day. I hope it's a beautiful day for you. We want to know. How is the weather in your part of the world? Because we have people in Canada, Germany, Suriname, Japan, all over. So, how is the weather here in Nu'uanu on the island of Oahu? Yeah, beautiful. It's kind of a calm day, not a cloud in the sky that we can see from our window. That looks like a postcard. I assure you, it is not a postcard. That is our view. We are lucky no ho'i, ho'maika'i mako. We are so blessed to live in this beautiful place. And wherever you are, I hope that you have a beautiful view, even if it is of rain or clouds or whatever it might be, dust, storms. Hopefully you can find beauty in your surroundings. But let us know in the comments. Pehea um, kyanila. And you can let us know if it's nighttime, you say hey po blank keia. And if it's daytime, you say hey la blank keia. So you just take that weather word and plop it right in the blank. And that's your answer. Okay? So we can't wait to read those a little bit later. Hope that you're having a nice day wherever you are. You're dancing hula, so can't be too bad. Okay, at this point, we're going to do the song or the chant that rises up the sun. You saw we have a pretty sunny day, so maybe we're being a little greedy with this, but let's rise up the sun together. Put your hands in a cupped formation. This is called upoho, and the flat formation is called pa'i. So we're going to do a pattern of upoho, upoho, pa'i, join in. Upoho, upoho, pa'i, e ala e. E ala e, kala i kahikina. I come one, come one, a ho, ho, nu. Pi i kaleva, kaleva nu. I kahiki na, ayakala. E ala e, hana ho, ready, go. E ala e, kala i kahiki na. I come one, come one, a ho, ho, nu. Pi i kaleva, kaleva nu. I kahiki na ayakala e ala e and stop. We normally do this three times, and I just heard something. I had not a vision, but I had a a hersion, a hearing. <laughs> uh, anyways, <coughs> not a hernia. No. Okay, I just heard a harmony in the back of my mind. Do you think you can hold on to the melody while I try a harmony out today? Give it a try. He's done e ala e ten thousand times, so I think we can do it. Try and hold on to this harmony, and I'm going to try out a little, I mean, melody. You hold the melody. I'm going to try. Hold on to the harmony that you've never heard before. Just kidding. Okay, you do the melody. I'm going to try a harmony. Sorry if I mess it up. This is live. Ready? Upoho, upoho, pa'i. Let's go. E ala e. E ala Wait, where are you going to? E ala e. Okay, ready? Two, three, go. E ala e. Kala i ka. You go, e ala e, kala i kahikina. Okay, I'll start with you. Ready, sorry, I'm just making this up on the fly, and there's a fly. Ready, go. E ala e, kala i kahikina, i kamu anna, kamu anna ho ho nu, bi i kaleva, kaleva nu, i kahikina, ayakala, e ala e. Okay, it's always terrifying to try something new on live. I don't know if I was singing it correctly. He was, he was. Yay, that was our third time through. 
also there really is a fly here it's it wants to dance hula high fly high fly okay let's move on <laughs> ehomai is our next chant and ehomai is a great one because it says grant us the knowledge from above concerning the hidden wisdom the kauna of the mele or songs that we are studying grant 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 us these things so let's focus our minds we're going to do it three times through no fancy business just the normal eho mai pa eho mai ka ike mai luna mai e o na ame a huna no e o na mele eho mai eho mai eho mai e So that was our Eho Mai, and that is actually our last chant for the day. Um, we're actually going to grab our Ipu. We're not going to do the making Ipu song, but we'll do a few beats before we get started dancing. Yeah, we love that song, but we got plenty to do, so we're not going to hana. Ika Ipu heke ole. We're just going to ho'o hana. We're just going to use it. Okay? So if you have a pale, something to protect your ipu from the ground, that's great. And then your ipu, of course. We took some of our ipu down to the ocean um, to dip. What's that? They were broken. Yeah, they need some repair, but they also had some termite damage. So we took them down to go dip the other day. That was kind of nice. Okay, come this way so that the people can see you. Let's practice our beats. We're going to start by holding the ipu the neck of the ipu with your left hand and with your right hand you're going to cup on the side you can follow me he's doing it right way and i'm doing it backwards for you so hold it and you're going to have your hand on the side let's start with the ka eke loloi which is this little rattling sound very good now the pa beat is a, a combination of u and te so let's do the pa beat four times ready go u te Stop. Very good. Now the kahela beat, of course, is a u te te. That combination. Probably was upside down. Four times kahela go. U te te, u te te, u te te, u te te. Good. The last beat that we use is called the ka eke loloi. Oh no. Hello. The kuku. <laughs> Where's my brain? The kuku is gonna be u u u te te. Let's try it. Four times kuku go. One. Good. I'm going to give you a little pattern. I'll start with an easy one. We're going to go right down the, the card. So we're going to do pa, kahela, kuku. Simple. Okay. Ready, set, here we go. Ute, ute, te, u, u, ute, te. Very good. Okay, a little bit harder. We're going to do pa, pa, kahela, kahela, kuku, kuku. Okay. Ready, set, here we go. A pa. Kahala, kahala, cuckoo, cuckoo. Last one, do four of each. Four pa, four kahala, four cuckoo. Okay, the cuckoo is gonna get a little long, but we'll be good. Ready? Start with four pa. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, and four. Kahala, one, two, three, and four. Cuckoo, one. Okay, you can put your ipu away and let's cool iluna stand on up. Lots to do. Here we go. I don't know why. <clears throat> Some of my students had their first football game in, I think, two years. And so I don't know why. I just got the cheerleader bug in me today. So we have been working on a song called 
Milolii. And Milolii is a little tiny fishing town on the island of Hawaii. Um, do we still have a map that shows where? No, we have no map. Okay, so imagine this is the island of Hawaii. Here, can you help me? Put your hand like to, to here. We're going to be the island of Hawaii. We are the island of Hawaii, something like this. Just kidding, maybe it goes like this. Okay, we're kind of the island of Hawaii like this. Kailua, uh, not Kailua Kona, but Milolii is right around yeah. here. No, oh, just kidding, it's on this side. Okay, <laughs> okay. so Milolii is a tiny little fishing town, um, and it is known for just, you know, people living a little bit uh, simpler life. You know, and and but this song is not about Milolii for very long. <laughs> in the first verse, we talk about Milolii and we talk about being there and riding on a donkey. That's the ekake that you see right there in that second line. Ekake, that donkey. It says, "Okay, I go to Milolii and I ride a donkey." Okay, Wait, so that's no, no, no. The donkey doesn't ride the donkey. <laughs> <laughs> the person who wrote the song, the Hakumele, John Makuokane, said, when I go to Milolii, I ride on a donkey. And it is Nuha. Nuha means to be kind of stubborn and a little bit upset. He's mad. And he's mad on the road. So let's go over this verse. We're going to review it. I can review it. And then we're going to dance it. We have five verses to go through, so we're going to kind of jump right in. Okay, so stand up, Kuiluna. Okay, here we go. Milolii, the little town, that fishing town, you're going to press from the center of your, um, right in front of your pico, and you're going to push open. Milolii, and then bring it back together. E. And then it says, Akuneola is kind of like I went there. Your hands start at your chest, and you're going to flip over to the 45 degree angle, and then you're going to beckon, beckon, and come in. I want you to see this from another angle so you can see where the angles are. So here's our overhead cam, so you can see. Oh, my flag fell down. Sorry about that. Okay. So when we do akuneola, your hands are going to be across your chest. Your right hand is going to extend to the 45-degree angle. Both palms flip up, and you're going to beckon, beckon, and then bring it back. Okay? So here's milolii out in front. Milolii. Akuneola. How was that? Back to the regular cam so you can see. Ready? Again. Milolii akunei aula. Then you're going to hold on to the donkey with your left hand. Your right hand is going to give it a little encouragement. You're going to slap the, the thigh of the donkey slash yourself. And then you're going to hold on to the don donkey's ring. So e keko one slap. E, two slaps, then hold. Ka, ke, la. Now, he's going to take you for a ride, so you're going to follow the donkey right, left, right on the road. You're going to push from your hips straight forward. And I made a little mistake on that last week, so oh, please forgive me. We were having technical difficulties. So after you hold on to the reins, he takes you for a short ride. One, two, three, and then you control him on that ala nui or that road. Yeah. Remember the word ala means road or path, and nui means big, so on the big road. How big of a road there is in Miloli, I really don't know. We got to go visit, right? Barbara, you're going to take us on a field trip. Okay, Miloli pushing down. Miloli towards the angle. Akune aula. I ke kau e ka ke la. Anu ha i ke ala nui. Then we have a straight kaholo. This is a pretty traditional song written all the way back in the 1930s. So we're just going to do a simple holo to the right and left. Got it? Now let's add, let's add, let's add a little bit of footwork to this. So for milolii, we're going to kaholo to the right and left. So that's four steps to the right, four steps to the left. Get ready? Here we go. Right. Milolii. Stop right there. Then akuneola, you're going to kaholo toward the angle, forward at the angle. Akune, back. Aula, very good. You want to see that in the overhead camera too? Okay, here we go. Miloli, here I go. Mi, sorry, I got to get in the camera. Hi there, ready. Miloli, now I'm going forward. 
ah, kune, and back. Aula. Okay? Good? Here we go, back here. Then ike kau e ka ke la. You're going to kao to the right. Sway right, tap, left, tap, pause. Now, for this one, I want to show you the va vai cam so that you can see when you do the pause, your right foot is going to come forward. So your kao is going to sway right, sway left, and pause. Okay? So this is when you're doing your encouragement. So here, the feet again. I ke kao, e ka ke la. And then you're going to kaholo to the right. Anuha ike alanui. Okay, let's go back to the regular camera. Da 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 da. Miloli i little place. Miloli i not too wide. Forward. Akune aula. Here we go. Ike ka e ka ke la. Anuha ike alanui. Yeah. Okay, Eames is going to join me. We're going to jump up and do it with the music. The musician for this recording are me. Um, <laughs> me, me, and me. But there are some great recordings, old recordings. The older, the better for this one, because this is an old song. This is Milo Lee. First verse. Here we go. Can you hear that? Kahono. I can't hear. I know it's there, but I can't. False crack. Try one more time. Kaholo. Miloli. Miloli. Akune aula. Ike kao e kake la. Nuha ike ala nui. Hola. Okay, sorry, I'll fix that. I'll review that part. The um, forward and back part, I forgot to tell you. It's not a straight kaholo, right and left. It's forward is a regular kaholo. And then on the way back, there's an extra. So it's going to be like a holo. And then add an extra two steps. I call it a holo ho. <laughs> not quite a holo holo. But it's one, two, three, four going forward. And then it's going to be six counts on the way back. One, two, three, four, five, six. You want to see the va vai cam? Just so you can see that real good. Going forward, it's four steps. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, this song has a, even though it's a kind of older traditional song, um, it has a little bit extra uh, beats here and there to make it sound a little bit more interesting. Okay? So let's just try that one more time before we go on to the second verse. Milo li'i. Ready? Here we go. Milo li'i. Regular kaholo forward. Akune. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sway. Sway. Pause and holo to the right and make the road. Good? All right. Second verse takes us away from Milo Li'i. The guy said, oh, Milo Li'i, all they got there is donkeys. So he said, I need some adventure. I know where I'm going to go. I'm going to go to the island of, of Oahu, which is where we live, and I'm going to go to Waikiki. Everybody loves Waikiki, right? So Waikiki is the beach area, and over there they were doing some development and they needed an attraction to bring people down into that place. And the attraction that they decided on were holo holona, an animals. So this is Daisy the elephant. She was the main event, the main attraction at Waikiki in the 1930s. You could bring your keiki to go for a ride on Daisy's back. And um, so that's what we're going to talk about. He said, forget me, Loli'i. All they got is donkeys. I'm going to Waikiki where I can get myself a good elephant ride. So... <laughs> Waikiki, you're going to um, make your two waves to the right. Waikiki. Then same motion like the first one. Akune, I go. Aula. Okay, now this one is a little funny. 
It's meant to be comic in style of this hula. You're going to get on this elephant. Now, an elephant is not this big or this big or this big. It's this big. So you have to make a big stance when you do this. So let's just do Waikiki. You're going to kaholo to the right. Waikiki. Then same forward on a kaholo. Akune. Now six counts back. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now you got to hike your mu'u mu'u or your pa'u, whatever you got on. And you're going to swing that right leg right over that elepanila. Okay? And then it's going to give you a little attitude. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to swing that. Like, just have fun with it, okay? Hula doesn't always have to be so pretty and stuffy. So, that's it. Then your left hand is going to come across your chest. Your right hand is going to make that ihupelele, the swinging nose of the elephant. You're going to kaholo to the left. And then sway right, sway left. Like you're looking for some peanuts down there. Got any peanuts? That's it. Do elephants even eat peanuts, or is that just in Dumbo? Yeah. My son is the animal expert, and he's like, I don't think so. <laughs> okay, well, do your research. Don't trust what you hear on hula. Okay. Waikiki, holo to the right. Go. Waikiki, holo imua, going forward. Akune, aula, ikikau. Le panila, ihu pele le you. Baram biram 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 biram. Patricia says they do. Thank you. Thank you, Patricia. And Eames agrees. They do eat peanuts. Okay. Phew. I thought I was gonna get snoped. Okay. Ready? Let's go. <laughs> I thought I was gonna get flagged on Facebook for misinformation. Okay, here we go. Fake news, fake news. Okay, ready? Don't say that. I might get you down. Follow. Second verse coming at ya. Let's go, Waikiki. Waikiki. Akune. Ride that elephant. Hey, Daisy. Nice elephant. Waikiki. Waikiki. Akune aula. Ike kau elepanila. Frisco. Nice job. Frisco. Yeah. All right. So this this guy, he went from Milolii, then he went to Waikiki, and he said, this is not enough excitement. I need to ride something more exciting. So he decides he's going to ride an airplane all the way to Califrisco, San Francisco, California. So we showed you a picture of the bridge the San Francisco Golden Gate Bridge. And um, our motion for this is sort of going to mimic this bridge in a way. Eames told me last week that I, it, it's not exactly mimicking the bridge, right? Because we're not going to go from point A to point B to point C to point D to point E. All we're going to do is we're going to look from point A, which is down here, to point, <laughs> he says point C. Maybe point B is up there. And then we're going to look back to point A and then back to point B. Okay? So it just goes down to the left, up to the right, down to the left, up to the right. Imagine all those tourists in California. They're kind of not looking where they're going. They're just, ooh, wow, ooh, wow. Okay, so that's what you're doing in this one. Califrisco. Um, and this is sort of a nickname, of course. So on Califrisco, your right hand is over your head or your eyes, shading your eyes while you look at all of the sights, looking down to the left, up to the right, down to the left, up to the right, yeah? And you don't actually have to look down, down. You're just kind of like changing the level of your looking from down to up, okay? While you're doing that move, you're gonna do what is called a ka velu holo. And I wanna take a little bit of time 
to introduce this step to you um, better than I did last week because we didn't have all of our cameras set up. And anyways, last week was a wash. So let's go over the Kavelu Holo. Now, the Kavelu itself is a basic step where one foot pedals forward and back. So let's do that two times. Right foot is going to go forward and back. Left foot is going to stay just in place. Okay, ready, set. Here we go. Forward, back, forward, back. And we're all using the right side, okay? Right side um, to move only. Let's take a look at the va vai cam so that you can see that just a little bit more clearly. Right foot only is moving, left foot is staying planted. Ready, set, here we go. Forward, back, right again, forward, back. Now let's switch it, okay? Then it's gonna be your left foot that's gonna go forward, back, forward, back. So for now, we're staying in place. Let's try that. Right foot two times and then left foot. Ready, set, here we go. Forward, back, forward, back, left foot. Forward, back, forward, back. Now, that's just called the Kavelu. Now, if we call it the Kavelu holo, we need to holo, we need to go, we need to move in that direction. So when our right foot goes, we're going to actually move the back foot. Instead of having it be stationary, we're going to go right, then we're going to move that back foot. Let me lift my move so you can see. Did you see I moved over? And then back, move over. Right, move, together. Okay, so I, I'm not sure if you can see, but this is the foot that's doing something different now. Okay, so instead of just staying in place, it's going to scoot over little bit each time it's scooting then we're gonna go that towards the left the left foot is gonna go forward move the right back move the right forward right together so the foot that's moving second is just kind of like inching along like this and the other foot is going forward and back okay let's come back to the regular camera so that you can see the whole thing Okay, so this is what the Kavalu Holo looks like in real time. Ready, set, here we go. Cala fresco, other side. Akune aula. Okay, so now we're gonna add our point A and point B looking while we go to the right. Okay, Eames, you wanna come try this with us? Okay. This is kind of a more advanced move. So I just want to warn you that there, there are options if this is too hard um, or too advanced. There's other options, but I think we're going to try it. Let's just try the feet one more time. Okay. So right foot is going to move forward and back first, and we're going to scoot towards my ipu side. Ready, set, here we go. Forward scoot, back scoot, forward scoot, switch. Forward scoot, back scoot, forward scoot. And then you're going to pause right. That feels a little weird, but yes, that's what you're going to do. Okay, so now let's add our sightseeing eyes. Oh, I can review this part. Oh, you want to come with me? Okay, yeah, I'll review. I'll review. Okay, so we're going to go down and up. Ready? And here we go. Cala fresco. Okay, then your left hand is going to come across your chest. Your right hand is going to go from the angle to angle, angle to angle and swing. No, that, that's your wings. That's your wings of your airplane. He's getting ready to board, okay? So this one is while you're moving to the left. Angle, 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 make your swings. Wings is what I meant to say, okay? Let's show you in the overhead cam so you can see the angle of the hands. So Califrisco is looking down and up and down and up. Hands at 45 degree angle. To angle, angle, and angle, then wings. Okay, now hands and feet together. Good luck. Calafrisco, ready? And here we go. Calafrisco. Akune aula, and wings. Okay, let's come back to the regular camera. I know this one is a little tricky, but you gotta have something to work towards. Can't all be easy peasy. Okay, let's try one more time. Ready? And here I go. Cala frisco. Akune 
Aula. Make your wings. Okay? Then you're going to turn towards the side, and you're going to dip the right wing down, and then you're going to turn towards the side, and you're going to dip the left wing down. And that's going to be an O, right, and left. So the turning to the side, your left foot is facing towards the side. Your right foot is going to go forward and turn, forward and turn. That step is called the O. So it's going to be your right foot and your right hand that are moving. Ready, go. Ko, mo, kulele la. Aleva y kaleva, it's soaring up in the heavens. You're going to drag your hands up to the heavens, and then you're going to get one ka'o or sway to open your hands. So you're going to ka'ola to the right, and then one ka'o sway. So that's your whole thing. Let's go from ka'o mo kulele turning to the side. Ike ka'o mo kulele la. Sweep up. Aleva y kaleva. Hey, I said aleva. Our friends live in Aleva, our family. Calafrisco, here I go. Calafrisco. Forward and back. Akune aula. Here's your wings. Ikeko mo kulelela. Aleva i kaleva. That's it. Okay, Eames. I can hear your bong, bong, bong of your tennis ball. I don't know if it's going on the thing. Come, let's dance, Califrisco. Everybody doing okay? Is everyone doing okay? Feel free to type questions into the comments if I'm going too fast or too slow. Here we go. Ready? Got your boarding pass? Follow. Califrisco. Califrisco, akune aula, ike kau mo kulelela, aleva i kaleva. Okay, Califrisco, only Cala check it out one side. Califrisco, and we'll go angle to angle. Akune aula, and wings. Ike kau mo kulelela. Up. Honolulu. Great job. Honolulu. Okay. So now let's go on to our next um our next verse. And so our next verse is gonna take us to Honolulu. Oh, sorry. Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. Okay. Oh. <laughs> sorry, I'm losing it. Okay. So Honolulu is where we are right now. We're in the um, city of Honolulu, actually the Ahupua'a of Honolulu. And um, so after this traveler went from Milolii, where did he go? To Waikiki. <laughs> <laughs> and then he went to Califrisco to ride the airplane. And guess what? He said, ah, I think I'm going to go back to Hawaii. So he came back, and of course, he had to fly through Honolulu. Now, Honolulu in the 1930s was a bustling place, and I wanted to show you some pictures that I found. So here is uh, an image of Honolulu in the 1930s. And um, what we see here is actually, some people might think it's Iolani Palace, but this is actually Ali Iolani Hale. This is across the street from Iolani Palace, and this was like a courthouse. It was um, supposed to be a palace at one time, but then they built the other palace. So Ali Iolani Hale, what, um, is the courthouse, and right in front, can you see there's a little Kamehameha statue? It's actually a huge Kamehameha statue, but mm -hmm. in this picture, it looks itty-bitty. So this is a picture of that location just across the street from the palace in the 1930s. Another picture that we have for you is Waikiki Beach. That is, you know, what it would have looked like. We see those tall, long boards. Just um, a couple months ago, we talked about the, the place where Duke Kahanamoku liked to go surfing that he named Papa Nui. And we see one of those Papa Nui, those long boards right there, and one of the beach boys. Now, Waikiki was a bustling spot, and the beach boys sort of ran that place, and they had all kinds of commerce. They did surf lessons. In fact, if you wanted to have this beach umbrella pitched and speared into the sand, the beach boys were right there for a small fee. Um, and they had another enterprising business I wanted to show, kind of cute. You see that? 
toe shine, 10 cents. So there were these little beach boys, probably the beach boys' sons, um, and they would paint toes. They would give pedicures for 10 cents on the beach. Can you imagine that? I wouldn't mind having a pedicure down the beach, but um, I don't know if I trust that guy. He only has, he looked kind of cockeyed. <laughs> He's a cockeyed mare of Waikiki. Anyway, she looks happy. Whatever, 10 cents, what a deal. Um, I wanted to show this picture here because in the 1930s, we were having an influx of naval officers from the U.S. We were not a uh, part of the United States at the time, um, but the, the naval officers were coming in, and they were uh, working with Hawaii to kind of shore up the islands because the, the war that would be beginning um, in, in the early 1940s was sort of impending. And so they were coming in, building up, um, you know, bases and, and trying to, to kind of um, shore up the island to get it ready for what would be an impending war. So you see the naval officers crossing the street there, and you see that flat road. We're going to get to that in just a little bit. Check out this next picture. What's that? Yeah, there's no lines in the crosswalk. What kind of silliness is this? How will they know that that's a crosswalk? Okay, check out this one. Just uh, um, last, not week, last month, we did uh, Hene Hene Koaka, right? And that talked about the streetcar. So we see here those streetcars, those were um, in place, and they were the form of transportation for all of Hawaii's people, whether it was the working, um, the working folks or you know, the, the, the locals or the, you know, foreigners or the Navy officers, they all rode these streetcars. But we were actually coming toward um, the end of some of these streetcar lines. So if in the next picture that you'll see, they were actually pulling up the streetcar rails. They put them all in and they were working great. And then they decided, eh, let's try something different. Let's pull up all of these rails. So these guys right here are not installing rails. They're actually pulling them out. And that takes us to our next sort of uh, verse, because the next verse says that they're going to ride a steamroller, a steamroller. So ikeko steam lo la la. So I wanted to show you, some of you might not know what a steamroller looks like. So here's a steamroller. This is a modern picture of a steamroller from around that time. And so a steamroller, it takes sort of bus up ground and then they pour water on top of it and then they roll over it with these hot rollers and then it kind of compresses it down into a flat road and so that's what we have this is the steamroller here in Hawaii they were doing all kinds of crazy things they were blowing up our reefs and then chucking all of that coral onto um, onto the land or inland and then they were pouring salt sea water on top of it and then rolling it with the steamrollers to make things like our airport runway, even to dredge the Alawai Canal area. All of Waikiki kind of got built up in this way by taking the natural resources, crushing them all up, piling them up, and then smashing them down with steamrollers. So that's what we have there. That's the steamrollers. And what was the result? Well, we got lots of automobiles coming in the late 1930s and beyond. Now we have some of the worst traffic in the entire United States, thanks to that. Uh, I would prefer uh, streetcars, perhaps. But, you know, although we have bad traffic, we still know how to have fun. So another reason that the um, composer wanted to come to Hawaii was because we knew how to throw the best luau, the best parties. So this is kind of what a luau might have looked like in the 1930s. Not so COVID-friendly. I don't know where their masks are, social distancing, where's the plastic sheets or whatever you need to make it safe. But... <laughs> Anyways, back in the 1930s, they knew how to have a good time. So this is an image of a luau in Honolulu. Okay, hope you enjoyed your trip back to 1930s Honolulu. Let's learn verse number four. <laughs> so Honolulu, left hand is going to be straight up above your head. Right hand is going to be at the angle. And then you're going to do the other side. Honolulu. Akuneaula, we already know this part. Akuneaula, okay? I bet you can guess the feet. Kaholo to the right, kaholo to the left, kaholo forward, holo ho back. Ready, and here we go. Honolulu, we go. Akuneaula. Okay, ikekau steam lolala. You have two options. Let's do the easier one first. 
You're going to make your steamroll fists, and you're going to roll, roll, and halt. You want to pause the work. Okay, one, two, freeze. I'm, I'm rolling away from me, by the way, if you cannot see which way my hands are rolling. It's not this way, but it's this way. Okay, okay ready? E, kikau, steam, alo, la, la. And then you're going to roll three times. Ho, lo, e, ke. And then you're going to push down that flat. It says alawai. Okay, so let's pretend this is the road by the alawai. One, two, three, and push it down. Okay, so the feet for the easy version is going to be ka'o right, ka'o left, and pause. Then kaholo to the right. Holo ike alawai. Okay, try one more time. Ka'o ready, here we go. Steam. Er, lo la la. Then. Holo ike alawai. That's the easy version. Now, if you want to challenge yourself, you can do a uwehe. So let's take a look at the vavai cam so you can see my feet. The uwehe is going to be a step, uwehe, step, uwehe, pause. And you've already done that with the elephant, the elepanila. But when you're doing a rolling with your hands, it can get a little bit tricky. So here's how it's going to look. Right, uwehe, left, uwehe, uh, then holo to the right. And okay, back to the regular camera. Here we go. Da 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 da. Honolulu up. A Honolulu. A Lulu. A Kune. A Ula. Uehe. Try. Ike ko. Steam. Lo la la. Holo ike a lava. How is that? If you want to choose to not do the way, I just like it because it looks like. Underneath the steamroller, there's some action going on. Ko, steam, lo. <laughs> I just, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's go. Honolulu. 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 We go. Let's roll. This time, let's try ka'o. Honoluru. Honolulu. Akune yaula. Akune yaula. Ka'o. Ike ka'o. Steam lo la la. Holo ike alava. That's it. Ha'ina. Ha'ina. I think... His vacation is almost coming to an end because in verse number five, which we're going to do right, right now, you okay? Oh, sorry. It says ha'ina and we're going to go back to Miloli'i. So it makes me think that I think the person who wrote this maybe was from that area close to Miloli'i because at the end, he had to go back home. And like my uncle Kimo, one of my kumu says, every journey starts at home. So we got to go back home. You can't just stay away forever. So from your mouth with your right hand, Oh, sorry. Yep. You're going to go from your mouth. Ha, e, and then, oh, sorry, go straight forward. From your mouth, straight forward. And then you're going to look over like, oh, yeah, remember I did that? And then switch. Mouth up, and then, oh, yeah, I did that too. Okay, you're going to look over there. So mouth front, and flip over, look. And mouth front, flip over, and look. Okay? And then you're going to get ready to ride that donkey again. E ke ko, e ka ke la. He went back to Miloli'i and he said, oh, I better stick to the donkey. Too much trouble all around. Okay? So let's try. We're going to kaholo to the right. Ready? And ha e na. My cup one la. And then hold. And then slap that donkey. E ke ko, e ka ke la, anu ha i ke la nui. He found out it wasn't so bad to ride a donkey back in Miloli. E ha i na, mouth forward. Ha i na, my ka puana la. Hold on. E ke ko, e ka ke la, 
Anu haike alanui. Okay, that was a quick one. Sorry. Yes, you have a question, sir. Oh, he's saying that he learned a story about a farmer and he thought all of the animals at his farm were too loud. Oh, he thought that everything was too loud. And so finally he went back and he said, oh, he, he brought the animals into his house and then what? Oh, exactly. That's exactly what this story is about. It's about appreciating what you have, even though you might think it's just a donkey being nuhai kiala nui. When you go out and see the world, you find out your donkey is the thing that you love the most. I think I like the way he said it better than I did. <laughs> Let's try hot yina. Okay. Okay. Hot yina. Hold on. Ha. Ha Ina, tell ha that ina. story again. Ha Ina, Ia mai kapua nala. Ike kau e kakela. Nuha ike ala nui. Nuha ike ala nui. Nuha. Lava. Okay, Lava. I'm going to show you. The very ending, I know we're close on time, but you're doing great. So that you, you're going to finish your Nuha in the second time of the first five. Nuha ike ala nui. Then you get your holo. Nuha ike ala nui. Then you're going to do Nuha one more time. Nuha ike ala nui. You're going to go like this. Now. You're going to turn to the side, and your left hand goes out. Your right hand is going to encourage your donkey towards the left, and then you're going to give shaka. Yeah. Okay, that's how it goes. Okay, so you're going to go holo. Hey. And actually, if we were performing this, you would run off with your donkey. I'm going to go get coffee now. Just kidding. I'm back. Shall we dance the whole thing? You have no choice. Stand up. Let's do it. If you miss a verse, just keep on going. Holo mua. Here we go. Questions? No? No? Ready? Milo li'i. Verses one through five. Let's go. Kaholo. Don't forget to have fun. Miloli. Miloli. Akune aula. Ike kao e kakela. Nuha ike ala nui. Miloli. I'm bored of this donkey. Let's go to Waikiki. 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 We go. Akune. Ike kao ele panila. Iku pele ele. Waikiki. Take another Cala tour. Frisco. Cala Frisco. Cala Frisco. Akune. Akune. Shwing. 
Okay, let's go back. Honolulu, Honolulu. the capital. Honolulu. Let's go. Yeehaw. One more time. Honolulu. Honolulu. We go. Let's steamroll it. Push it down. Nice and smooth. Hi, Ina. Hi, tell Ina. the story Hi, of your travels. Ina. Let's go back home. Ike That's it. Great job, everybody. Thanks for going on a little huaka'i with us, even though we should all just stay home. Don't jump on a plane right now. Stay home, stay safe. Um, I want to give a special shout out to my keiki. I have a little picture from one of our Zooms that we did. I don't know if that made it in there. There they are. So <laughs> as I catch my breath. Uh, we've made the really difficult decision to return to virtual format for all of our Keiki classes, sadly. Um, a lot of our Keiki are in that very vulnerable, um, unable to be vaccinated age range. So as excited as I was last week to tell you that we had brought all of our Keiki back to our home, um, we've made the decision to, now that our numbers are over a 1,000 a day, we really need to make sure to keep our keiki safe and do everything that we can to make sure that they can continue learning hula in the safety of their own homes. So shout out to my keiki. This is just a few of them that joined us yesterday. If you have keiki that would like to join us, um, we now have Zoom classes on Fridays at 4 for beginners, 5 for intermediate, and then Saturdays at 10.30 in the morning right after this class. If you have keiki, that would like to join us, let me know because we actually do have Keiki zooming in all the way from Kaleponi, from California, and um, of course right here on Oahu. So a blessing in disguise, perhaps maybe some, some of your Keiki can join us. But I did want to remind you that we do have a Zoom opportunity for many of you, for our adults and Keiki, I suppose. Kaulu Vehio Kekai is a hula classic, and we will be running two workshops for Kaulu Vehio Kekai tomorrow one is at 9 a.m hawaii time you can see all of the time zones there the other one is at 6 p.m they will be the same class basically from um at the nine o'clock hour and then at the 6 p.m hour i think that the workshop itself will run between two and three hours because we're going to learn the entire song um all in one crack we will be uh using a couple of different versions of the song including um, a more traditional version, and then a version made popular by the group Hapa a, a little while ago. So it's not a super modern version, but um, probably the most well-known one, which includes an extra verse at the end. So if you're still interested in that, you still have a little bit of time to sign up. Um, make sure that if you have signed up and you don't have the Zoom link yet uh, to reach out to me so that I can send that to you. It's the same link for both. So technically, if you wanted to come to both, you could but just know I'll tell the same jokes both times. So <laughs> anyways, it has been a joy to be with you as always. I'm so happy that we got to finish this song together and dance. It just makes me so happy. So thank you for being here. Thanks for being a part of our Hula Ohana around the world. We're gonna close out with some poi balls out on the deck. Um, so if you'd like to join us, I would love to have you, but otherwise, until next time, Ahui ho.